We're uh, in field one here. We planted these guys three years ago. They are reaching full production levels this year. And as you can see behind me, we're gonna have a bumper crop. So this is really exciting for us. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of patience, and it's finally paying off. Um, before I tell you about the August 1st allocations, I just wanna to say to all the Swiss Rifle Club members at all levels, thank you so much. You're our friends. You're the ones we think about, we talk about, we brew for. We try to impress you, we try to surprise you, and we also listen to you. So keep giving us feedback. We appreciate it immensely. I wanna talk a little bit about what we got in the boxes this month. Not everyone's gonna have these, but this is kind of a general assortment. The first is our latest release, which is our Utterback IPA. This is 100% California slew house grown Cascade IPA. It really expresses kind of the subtle complexities of hops that are grown in, in Sacramento. And these are specifically from Slough House, which is the Rutherford, if you will, of Sacramento Valley when it comes to hops. So this is incredibly high quality hops and we appreciate all Dave and Dee Utterback are doing. Um, the second two are two Swiss Rifle Club or kind of R&D brews. One is Kess and one is Boonwatt. Some of you guys have tasted these in the tap room. These are slightly different versions of that. And the bottles look a little funny and that's because we're continuing to refine our bottle reuse program. So these are actually bottles that you guys have brought back to us and then we commercially wash and then we fill again. And so this is more of an experimentation on, on the quality of that program as well. So uh, give us, think about that as well. And then the last one is a real blast from the past. We've got about a couple cases of Big Jimmy. These are 1881s we brewed and packaged about two and a half years ago. We've been storing them, and we want some of you guys to taste what a nice, balanced red ale tastes like two years later and see how it, quote unquote, ages in the can. Um, so we'd love to get your feedback, and always keep the cans. We don't make these guys anymore, so 